We're from Yale University. <laughs> All right, our house is the Y House. Um, and I think, I think what makes it unique is we're sort of challenging the idea of the German passive house approach um, and opening up the house, uh, both socially and uh, climactically. So it works both with the engineering part and sort of the architecture social mission of the house. A large part of our design came with engaging with the public. So we have this large ramp to make sure that our house isn't just connected to the public through this small little sliver that you have to like wind up, but rather this large engagement. So to us, it's very important to be connected and sort of be part of, of the larger um, sort of scheme of things. I think personally, I've been reading about this competition since I was like 12, 14, and it's great to finally be in it. Um, I think it's also great that this competition achieves so much um, educational outreach. So I think it's a great chance for students of all ages to come and see it for themselves. You're looking at the world of tomorrow, not just in the house concepts, but also these are the students who are going to be building these houses for real one day. So you could say this is the rough draft of what you're going to see 10, 20 years from now. Robert and I were doing an energy analysis, and some of these things are ahead of current industry practice. And it's really exciting to hear that because we're learning it for the first time, but at the same time, we're one of the first few people doing it and applying to a house at this stage in the design process. Most of it revolves around using building information modeling and um, different types of calculators to ensure that our house meets um, energy zero standards right now, even before a single brick is laid, a single mm -hmm. piece of like lumber makes it to the construction site. And um, surprisingly enough, that's not always industry practice. We're at Team Yale! Bula, bula. <laughs>